Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I want to give my updated opinions on the Hyperspin 2 Beta. Now it's been quite some time since I spoke about it, around 5 or 6 months ago. You can watch that video down in the description, the link will be there, or up here on the right in the annotations. In that video I just downloaded the software and hit record. It was my first impressions, a walkthrough. I showed how to add games, I figured out other features and kind of had a quick overall glance at the software again that was around five or six months ago since then i decided to install it today just to have a look because i did a format of window or reinstall of windows sorry recently so overall how is it coming along i'm quite impressed i'm going to be honest i am really impressed at what i've seen it's a lot faster i haven't had one crash since Whereas the last time after the video, I had a couple of crashes. It wouldn't boot for me. It was stuck down here, kind of hanging. Uh, background processes. I I constantly hit task manager to shut it down. That was a couple of like days after the video, which I found strange. Uh, it just started acting really off to me. And I probably should have mentioned that. But, you know, when I recorded the video, it wasn't like that. But as of today, I've had zero, zero crashes. And it just looks amazing. But, but, one of the best things about this is this button right here, which I, I don't think I've even touched on it. It would have been handy if I actually watched my previous video, but you know, amateur hour. This button right here has to be something, I believe, that's going to push this Hyperspin 2 far ahead of all the other front ends. And when I'm talking about the other front ends, I'm only talking about two others. To me, the other two was LaunchBox, aka Big Box, and Retrobat. Anything else, I rarely ever use. I use LaunchBox, I use Retrobat, I use Hyperspin, I use Hyperspin, uh, what is it, the, the um, oh, Attract Mode 2, whatever you want to call it, different from the original Hyperspin. Um. But this button right here, if I press this, it opens this menu here. This to me is going to be one of the best features when this program launches. In five or six years, if Hyperspin 2 is still out, and I hope it is, this thing here would be one of the reasons everyone switches to Hyperspin 2. This right here. This is a theme builder, and I believe I touched on it before, but not a lot. This here allows you to build your very own themes, your very own game themes, etc., and then upload them for people to just download. And I mean, it is so simple to download. I just click this arrow here, and once it's downloaded, it goes right here to the media wheel. So you've got ones for Atari, you've got ones for default, for the main menu itself, you've got one for Super Nintendo, etc. You've got everything. And all you do, hover over it, click that button there. It's, I don't want to remove it now. Just click apply. It is that simple. When I open up Hyperspin, which this didn't work for me before in the video, in the past one, works instantly. There it is. The Popeye menu. That quick, that easy. This to me is going to be one of the most important features added to a front end in years to come. People, trust me, if they, if they go the way I hope they're going to go, this to me is going to be killer. Scroll to the menu. Look how fast that menu wheel is. Look how fast that menu wheel is. That was something I was worried about when they were moving over from the original Hyperspin. I want to know from the developers, how did you manage to maintain this fluidity? Look at that. Look how simple that was. If I try that on Retrobat, it goes okay. It drop dips every now and again. If I do it on Launchbox, I have a video on it. For some reason, it's so slow for me, and I don't know why. Open up this menu here. Look how amazing this looks. Honestly, this is a beta. And the thing I love about it is I have, it, it's maintained. The original, the OG, as I always call it, Hyperspin Classic. It's kept that kind of theme, that feel as well. But we're going to have HD artwork now. 
No 720 badge stretch stuff. We're going to have updated HD artwork and HD effects all added, all created by people where you can download and add them with ease. Absolutely amazing. There's a lot more options in here. I don't even believe I went through them last time. A lot more options in here from using and things like that. Love it. Absolutely love that all these uh, options are here. And again, it's only five months later. It's only five months later. But going back to Hyper Theme, create. These are the options we're going to get. Create uh, wheel images, 2D box art, plugins, music. Drop down option here. Create a main menu theme. Create a game. Create a, a system default team. Collection teams. Insane. What more do you want? Honestly, this is just insane to me. My favorite word of the day. So as an example, if I highlight this right here, I'm creating a game team. What game, you know, choose a game that will be there eventually, or you could type it in. Well, I haven't selected the system. What am I talking about? But I can make one for a specific game. So as a prime example, let's say I want to make one for Tony Hawk's. So I want to make one for Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2 on the PlayStation 1. I can have Tony Hawk coming in from the right hand of the screen, doing a 900 and landing, you know, or something like that. No problem at all. Save, let's say, and it'll open up this. Built-in editor. No other front end that I know of does this. Import from Photoshop. Creation. I mean, look at this. I, I'm not as talented as a lot of people out there. There's so many options here to go through, to edit, to adjust, to have all these effects. There's more buttons down here. Don't ask me what they do. And then you can play, is it? Oh, so you can see what it's like. Oh my God. Absolutely unbelievable from these developers. And again, you save, you can test it in your own wheel. And when you think it's perfect, you just upload it for someone to download. Think of it in five to six years, how good this thing will be. It will be full. And I mean full. Most people, I believe, will migrate towards this if it goes the way I believe it will go or hope it will go. I, I cannot wait till this is just fully, like everything is here. Everything is ready for us to download. Pick a menu, click download, click a game, click download. It's so simplified. Yeah, what do you want? Uh, yeah, I want this team. Click add. You know what? I don't want it anymore. Remove it. So simple. So, so simple. Honestly, the developers over there at Hyperspin, well done. Whoever came up with this, genius. Absolute genius now is the program uh perfect no it has bugs it's a beta it's it's like you saw in the original video this wouldn't work for me like i said earlier crashed a couple of times uh every time i clicked the, the, the hyperspin button nothing happened you know people said it, it was perfect for them it's it's a beta this right here is also brilliant sorry menu wheel look at this wheel manager sorry there you go now super nintendo's at the top of the wheel you know what? I don't want the Super Nintendo anymore. Click automatically saves for me. You know what? I made a mistake. Alphabetical order. Bring back to Nintendo. That easy. That simple. But what more do you want? Honestly. Details. Edit. Fill in the blanks. Fill in the year. Give it a rating. Save. Simple. Details. Click this. Adds it to a collection. What's the name of the collection? What do you think it's going to be called? Mega Man. Go to your collections. There you go. You want to make a collection team? No problem. Go find one and download one. There's none at the moment, but like you could create one for Mega Man. Absolutely so good. It's so simplified. Again, credit to the developers for thinking outside the box. No one does this. Definitely, I, I don't know any other front end that has a built-in theme builder. You can build it yourself from scratch. Brilliant import, whatever, from Photoshop, sorry. Absolutely brilliant. Now, there are detractors, which I'll get to now. So, my overall experience is I'm positive on how it's going. 
I'm positive on, I have a positive outlook on this program. I hope in five years plus that we're going to see this theme builder jam packed with themes. I want to move my my entire library over to this. I want this to be my main uh, software down the line, but it's not there yet. It's still in beta. It's going to be slow, baby steps, if you know what I mean. Yes, they've updated it quite a bit. They've added, um, I think you're updated now with the MAME, the latest version of MAME, but they are detractors. Many people out there said, why did you update this? They're still saying it. Why did you update this? Why didn't you stick with um, 1.5? Why would you? But you really, really, really still want to use Rocket Launcher and Rocket Launcher UI and all that stuff. You want, you want to head over to Rocket Launcher's website and try and find modules. Really? That website's terrible. The, uh, everyone knows that. The admin over there is terrible. Absolutely not a nice individual. If you talk about anything that isn't Rocket Launcher, you're banned. Great way to be a part of the community. Great way to be a part. Yes, I was banned. If anyone wants to know, Yes, I was, because I, I answered someone's question. My God, that had nothing to do with Rocket Launcher. Anyway, sourpuss. Anyway, um, but I've, I've heard it across the board by many people getting banned from that website. But like, why, why would you want to deal with Rocket Launcher UI? Why would you want to deal with uh, uh, XML files and having to type in everything yourself? Sure, why don't you just download a pre-made one? Oh God, come on. Really? If you're a new user, do you want them to do that stuff? Go through all the websites, try and find... If you go back and look... Do you know what? I'm going to be horrible here. If you go back and look at some of the Hyperspin websites that were out there in the past, most people would tell you, Google it. Arrogant. Google it. Find out yourself. Disgraceful. That's just my opinion on that. Disgraceful. It's meant to be a community. We're meant to help each other out. Going on a rant there now. But this, to me allows people who are not savvy, who are not tech savvy, to enter the community of preservation for emulation and gaming. Absolutely love it. I really hope in five years that we see Hyperspin 2.1 or whatever, 2.2, and it's just jam-packed with themes. But like I said, it does have its problems. You know? It's a beta. I've heard other people say as well, um, too little, too late. I think that's silly to comment to make. This just adds competition. Why would you not want competition? That makes no sense to me. It's too much like Launchbox. What's the problem with that? Launchbox is great. Big box isn't. Slow. Lags. This has a fantastic menu wheel. What more do you want? I don't understand these people. I don't have an issue with people complaining that it isn't working or something's wrong. I think people, I don't understand people being negative towards in the sense of what a waste of time. Hey, it's it's their time. Let them, If they want to do it, let them do it. I'm going to end the video here because I'm kind of ranting now. And I don't like that. But my overall impression of this software is from where I used to be five months ago. This is insane to me. This is going to be something I really want to use in down the line because it is so simple. This took me four to five minutes to add this many systems. Don't even ask how long that would take on original hyperspin. God almighty. Four to five minutes, done all the artwork for me. Insane. Favorite word of the day. Anyway, I'm going to end the video here. Uh, I hope I touched on everything. If I didn't, I'll make another video. But like I always say, have a lovely, lovely day. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really does help the channel. And also, thank you to the developers over at Hyperspin. You're doing a good job, guys. Keep it up.